your home bar. What do you need in your home bar? I'm gonna show you the eight simple things and then you're gonna be good to go for any party you need. First thing, a black book. Always good to know what you're gonna mix and how you're gonna mix it. Second thing you need, good ice cubes. The larger the cube, the slower they melt, the less they dilute that beautiful drink you've just mixed. You need a jigger. I love this one by OXO. The cool thing is it's got three measurements on each side. So in this one jigger, I have six measures. Very cool. You need a cocktail spoon, long skinny spoon. Get the cherries out of the jar. You can stir your martinis unless you're James Bond and you like them shaken, in which case you need a cocktail shaker. Be sure and get a two-piece cocktail shaker. You want one with a strainer. If yours doesn't come with a strainer, you can always buy a separate strainer and then you have nine things in your bar, which is just fine. Then you need a muddler because anytime you're gonna to wanna to make that spicy margarita, you're gonna to need to crush those jalapenos or if you're making a mojito, you wanna gently muddle those herbs. Herbs need to be, you know, sort of handled very sweetly and nicely or they get bruised and unhappy. You need a juicer, a juicer that's big enough to hold most of the citrus that you have because fresh juice in your cocktails make all the difference. And the rule is about a juicer, it's cut fruit side down so the juice comes straight through these holes. And that is the right way to use a juicer. And then you need some good garnish. Please don't buy those neon cherries, please. Get some good ones, Luxardo's for that beautiful Manhattan that you're gonna learn to make in your book. Great martini olives. And you've got eight things here and they're gonna set your bar.